Welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up your printer to use with the 2013 version of PT Booth Custom Photo Booth software. After you've installed the 2013 version of the PT Booth software and you've printed your first uh, test prints, you may notice that your print does not look quite right very similar to the one you're seeing on the screen right now. You may see some uneven borders or the pictures could be cut off or not even visible at all for that matter. If you see any of these issues, that means that your print template has not been correctly aligned with your printer. And don't worry about this, this is completely normal and it's very easy to fix. In this video, we will explain how to properly align your print template with your printer. In PT Booth Admin, as well as in PT Booth Print Template Creator, there are three options to be aware of that are necessary to achieve a perfect alignment of your print template. They are Print Zoom, Offset Width, and Offset Height, which are used to make necessary adjustments to match your printer's alignment. Let's talk about how to use the Print Zoom and Offset Width and Height. We have provided test grid templates with the software package that will make the alignment process easy. You need to use test grids, landscape, or portrait in order to determine the values for the perfect alignment of your print template. The grid contains an element that will help you to see what adjustments that you will have to make. On all sides of the test grid, there are numbers, uh, for instance, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0.5, and it also in all the corners of the grid there are four blocks of different colors so how does the grid template help you well it's pretty simple here your print template will be perfectly aligned when all of the elements of the test grid are visible on your printed media without any white white spaces around it and you can see on the screen a photo of before the adjustments were made and a photo of after the adjustments were made Now for example here, if you've printed your test grid and you're looking at those little numbers on the on the edge of the print there, uh, and you didn't see maybe a point 0.1 on your left or right side, it just simply means that you need to use point 0.1 in the offset width settings in order to get that picture to balance out. Here is how to use the test grid. First thing you want to do is open a test grid template in the PT Booth Print Template Creator. Now in the video here, we're going to go ahead and use the Portrait Test Grid. Test Grid templates are located in the 2013 Test Print Grids, and that's a folder that you'll find in the PT Booth package that you downloaded. In the preview window, it will say No Image Available. In order to make the grid image visible, here are the steps that you'll need to take. Switch over to the Images tab. In the Print Template Images list box, you will see one image. It will be either a portrait grid or a landscape, depending on which grid template you are testing. Select the image. Use the External Image File field to locate a grid image. Grid images are located in the 2013 Test Print Grids, and that's a folder that you'll find in the PT Booth package that you download. Select the image and click Open. Now click Save Image Attributes. Now you will see your grid image appear in your preview window. Once the grid image is in place, you'll need to print the test grid to determine if your printer requires any adjustments. Switch to the Template tab. Click on Start Template Test Print button. Select the printer you are using and make sure your printer preferences are set accordingly. Click OK and your printer will print the test grid layout. Now you can take a look at your printed sample and determine what adjustments need to be made. As you can see, there are numbers on the print template test grid that will help you to determine if your alignment is accurate. The values are in inches. If you want to move your template to the right or left, use the offset width. For example, 0 0.1 in offset width value will move your template to the right 
0.1 inches in distance. Minus 0.1 will move your template to the left 0.1 inches in distance. Now if you want to move your template either up or down, you'll use offset height. Now 0.1 in offset height will move your template to the bottom 0.1 inches in distance. And minus 0.1 will move your template up 0.1 inches in distance. Now the print zoom function will either increase or scale down your template in order to fit into your desired media size. It is uh, behaving kind of like a fit to page attribute that you'll see that any printer utilizes. Now take a look at the grid that you just printed and if needed you can specify the percentage of the zoom that will fit to your template perfectly. Go ahead and follow along and watch us on the screen here as we show you an example of how we determine uh, the uh, print zoom, the offset width, and the offset height for the Sony UPDR200. Now once you've determined the values for print zoom, offset width, and offset height, make sure you enter those same values in the PT Booth Admin Printing tab accordingly. Now any template that you create will always be ready to print using those values with that particular printer. And it's very important that we point out here, um, and please take note of this, that uh, every printer out there is different. And even those printers of the same brand and model number can have slight differences. So if you ever use another printer, you'll need to run a new test uh, on these grids to determine the new values for zoom, offset width, and height. As always, thank you for watching this video tutorial where we covered how to set up your printer to use with the 2013 version of the PT Booth Custom Photo Booth software. For more information, feel free to visit our website and our blog. And again, thanks for watching.